We're gonna make today an easy kosher crispy fried fish with tartar sauce. You won't be disappointed. This recipe is so easy yet the outside is so crunchy and the inside so tender. And don't forget if you like this kind of content all about simplifying a kosher life, please don't forget to subscribe. So let's jump into it. One of the secrets to have a crispy yet tender fried fish is to take as much as possible the moisture off the fish. So what you're going to do is take your fish, put it in a sieve, leave it for a little while there and you can see about 10-15 minutes later you will have quite a bit of liquid that will have accumulated at the bottom of the bowl. And then you're going to take your fish and roll it in a tea towel. You're going to squeeze out as much as you can the liquid gently and then you're going to put it on another clean and dry uh, tea towel and the second step will be to put all the pieces of fish one by one on a paper towel. Even though we feel perhaps that the fish is quite dry to touch, when we put it in the paper towel we see that there's quite a bit of moisture left. You're going to continue the process until the surface of the skin has lost its luster, its shine and then you're going to be ready to put all the pieces in a bowl. It's important at this point to season it for the taste of the fish to be more present. Afterwards you will simply toss and mix everything until every piece of fish is nicely coated with the salt and the pepper. To continue our quest to have the crispiest fried fish, we are going to dip every piece of fish in flour. It's very important that every side and every nooks and cranny of the fish is covered with flour that will add to the crispiness. To make your batter, you're going to use some regular all-purpose flour and then you're going to add some cornstarch for extra crispiness. The next step will be to add some baking powder as well as some baking soda. You can add for an extra kick some salt and some cayenne pepper. You're going to mix every ingredient together and you're going to make sure that no clumps are left. This way it will assure that your batter will be nice and silky. We're going to add the water little by little. This will ensure that the batter will be nice and smooth. You're going to simply add small amount of water at a time and you're going to go and get all the flour on the side of your bowl. Continue mixing until the batter forms a sort of a ball of dough in the middle. Then you will add a little bit more water. As you can see, the dough is forming clumps and it's detaching from the whisk in chunks. That is your telltale sign that you need to add more water and continue the process. You're gonna see that within a few seconds, your batter will become silkier and silkier. And the telltale sign that your batter is ready is that when you lift up the whisk, it will form a continuous ribbon of batter. The last ingredient you're going to add is vinegar. This will react with the baking soda and it will make that your batter will become so airy. You will see if you stop whisking some bubble forming at the surface of the batter and you will continue mixing until you have a continuous ribbon of batter coming down from your whisk. Take your flour covered fish and now it's time to dip it in the batter. A very important point is not to overcoat the piece of fish in the batter and to make sure that it's not overcoated you are simply going to take it, put it in the batter and then sway it from side to side. As long as you see that ribbon forming on the surface of the batter, it means that you have excess batter and you will continue until you don't have this phenomenon anymore. Once that it's done, you're going to dip it in the flour and you're going to turn and turn your coated fish in the flour until it forms at the surface some ripples that should look a little bit like an elephant skin. 
Your oil should be at around 350 degree Fahrenheit and when you insert the fish inside the oil you should have a light bubbling around the fish. One of the secrets to have extra crispy fried fish is to continuously baste the fish with the oil. This will allow the fish to cook evenly on top and at the bottom. You will continue doing this until the fish reaches a very nice golden color. Once it's ready, take out the fish from the oil and place it on a paper towel. To accompany our kosher crispy fried fish, we're gonna do some tartar sauce. For this super simple tartar sauce, you will use half a cup of mayo, which will yield about a cup of tartar sauce. Then, once that you have put your mayo in your bowl, you're gonna add some gherkin, some pickles. You can use sweet or sour pickle as you want. And then you're gonna add some capers. Add some lemon juice, but if you don't have any lemon juice, please use the vinegar from the capers or the gherkins. Then add some garlic powder and onion powder. Finally, add a bit of salt. You can mix everything with a whisk, and if you have more time, you can definitely put everything in a food processor until smooth. It's time to plate it, and you're gonna see that this tartar sauce is so easy to make, yet it is so silky. I hope that this easy, kosher, crispy fried fish with tartar sauce will now be one of your staple on your table. And don't forget to share your comments below. You can always double fry these for extra crispiness, especially on Yantev. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. We do upload new content every week on Tuesday. Stay safe. Stay blessed and don't forget to from it up.